So hey, welcome to the next installment of uh, installing interchangeables. In this video, we will show you how to install the Vice IT system. Uh, and in order to install the Vice system, you must uh, absolutely buy the starter kit. Okay, so there's a lot of tools involved in this process. It is recommended to get the starter kits. The starter kits come in several different flavors. You can buy either a one drill bit starter kit or you could buy the full gamut uh, starter kit. Okay, so one of the advantages of Vice is that basically it uses their their existing slugs. So you could use the one and one eighth, one and a quarter, one and three eighths, and also their one and a half uh, if you wanted to. Um, so all of the drill bits also come uh, for those sizes. Okay, so if you're doing let's say a one and a quarter, you would use a one and five sixteenths uh, drill bit, and if you're using the one and three eighths, you would using be using the one and seven sixteenths drill bit and this is the one that we're going to be using uh, for the example let's talk about now the parts that are used in the installation for the vice it okay so the first part here is called the bullet this is the equivalent to the female and all the other systems okay um, and this almost acts like some sort of an anchor okay so as you can see we're going to be drilling a smaller hole here and we're going to be putting in the bullet expander that goes inside here that will open up these fins to really put a lot of pressure inside the bowling ball so this is what lives inside the bowling ball okay so next thing also is going to be the slug it so this is the male piece or the inner piece that's going to be taken out and also at the top of the ridge of the hole, we have what is called the top sleeve, okay? So this is going to live on the, in the ball with the uh, bullet, okay? So this and this will be in the ball and this is going to be the removable piece. In essence, the way that this works is this lives inside the ball, this comes in and it screws on like a ball, bottle cap, okay? So we will have two processes. One will be to install the female portion or the bullet inside the bowling ball. Okay, so that's gonna be step one. Then step two, we will have to drill the slug it using the Ferrari jig. Okay, so we'll get to that here in a little bit. We'll start by drilling our one and seven sixteenths hole. And let's start with that. Then we'll get to drilling the slug it. So we're back here again. As usual, as in all these examples, we are going a quarter inch reverse. And we are taking now 15 sixteenths as our drill bit of choice for all of these exercises. And all I'm doing here is lining up my center line and with my cut line. So in this case here, your cut line might be, let's say for a four inch span, might be at two inches, okay? So all you're doing is lining up that, that, that drill bit hole. So here we're gonna be doing an, a round hole once we get into drilling the slug. Okay, so now that I'm centered, I'm good to go here. I'm gonna take this off and I'm going to take my one and seven sixteenths drill bit. Okay, so as we've done with all the other uh, videos, we can now take a drill bit that's not as, as used as, as uh, or not as solicited as some of the other drill bits. So here's one and seven sixty-fourths. And here I'm just gonna be able to, okay. So here I'm just going to be drilling until a certain depth, okay just to aid that other drill bit to do its thing. Okay, so be careful of the depth here on your pilot because the depth of the hole is very important because we have to drill first seven one and seven sixteenths, and then we will drill a half inch hole all the way to the bottom. Okay, so here's our one and seven sixteenths. So this process is going to be very simple, very easy. You will have several tools to keep in your inventory, okay, just to make sure that you don't lose any of those tools because they are indispensable and we'll see them as, as we progress, okay. So keep yourself a nice little spot. When you buy the starter kit, uh, all the tools come nicely inside a, uh, like a slotted cubby that you could use, so make sure to keep that. Also, one thing that comes inside the starter kit is um, some tape. So what you could do there is just put a little piece of tape in the back there. Instead of hitting the ball, you would have hit the, the tape. So it basically protects the ball from the stopper. Okay, so what we see there could have been, um, could have been saved if I would have used the special roll of tape that comes with the vice kit. Okay, so now that this is done, let's just blow this out. Okay, next step. We take a half inch drill bit, okay? The smallest bit in your rack, okay? 
pop it in. I don't like putting it all the way, so I'm gonna leave about a finger length um, so it can go a little bit deeper, okay? And now we're just gonna bottom out on the machine, okay? So you wanna go like an at least three quarters of an inch, okay, to half an inch deep, just to make sure that it is long enough for the bullet to go in, okay? We take the funnel that comes with our starter kit, blow everything out, especially out of that one inch, that half inch hole, all the way at the bottom. So make sure that that is nice and clean. So now at this point, we can take the ball off the press because we will not be drilling the, uh, the thumb itself inside this ball. We will be using the Ferrari jig, okay? So we'll, basically now this is done. So again, one and seven sixteenths, half inch, all the way to the base. Um, so basically bottom out. Try to go at least a three quarter of an inch just to get enough room for the, uh, the bullet to go all the way in. So basically we did the half inch just for this piece here. Okay, so you wanna go at least, like, at least like I said, three quarter to about an inch uh, in. So as we see here, we've got our one and seven sixteenths and a half inch hole completely at the bottom. Okay, so now what we wanna do now that this is done, okay, before we head over to the Ferrari jig, is we wanna make sure that we can put in our bullet and the top sleeve, okay? So we will need the bullet, bullet expander, okay? So we're gonna need that. We're gonna need our top sleeve, okay? With that, we will need several tools. We will need our push down rod, and we will be needing this uh, flat, uh, flat ended screwdriver to pop in the expander. Okay, so those are the tools that we will need, and like I said, keep these handy. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna put in our top sleeve, okay? So very similar to all the other systems. You see how tight this is, like it won't go into the hole, okay? So we gotta bevel the top of the hole, okay? A lot of the pros on the PBA will glue the top sleeve to their, um, to their slug it, just to make it a little bit easier for them. Uh, I, however, personally, prefer to put it into the ball. That is the manufacturer's recommended way of installation. So we follow that, okay? So here I'm just staying on the outside of the ball, okay? Just really sanding it just at the top. So that top sleeve is gonna go in nice and easy. Okay, so I take my top sleeve and check. So you see it's going in a little bit easier, but still with some restriction. Okay, we want these things to go in pretty loose, okay? So again, keep sanding until this goes in nice and loose, okay? A little bit more. All right, so on this, we're just gonna rough it up a little bit with some sandpaper, okay? And there we go. So this is gonna go in easy peasy, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our quick glue, okay? Inside your kit, you will uh, be getting also a tube of the vice glue, okay? Any insert glue will do in this case, okay? So we can just put, I like putting just a couple of dabs because we don't want it to go into the hole that much. It's mostly on the exterior wall, okay? And just smear this around, okay? And then I'm just gonna pop this in. Okay. So we're gonna leave this sticking out a bit. Okay, when we get to cutting it, it's gonna be nice and flush. Okay, so we're gonna put that. Now what we're gonna to have to do is install the bullet. We will grab our installation tool. We will grab our bullet, okay? And we will install it onto here, okay? Before we do so, I really like scuffing this piece up, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna scuff it up a little bit just to get make sure that the, the glue really sticks to it. And then same thing here on the lower part of this bottle cap on the nylon, okay? So this part will be sitting in at the base of the, the hole and this will be going into our half inch hole, okay? So now that this is done, okay? I now screw this on to my installation tool. Okay, and this one you'll have, if you order the, 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 the full size kit, you'll have a one and three eighths, a one and a quarter, and also a one and one eighth, uh, if that's the case. So basically this is going to be going in here, 
we will line up this black notch here with our center line as, as per all the other installation videos. So we're gonna be putting some glue onto here. And basically once this is in here, we have this hole here where we will put in the, the uh, expander and also knock in the, this uh, gray piece here to make sure that it's well seated inside the base using the push down rod, okay? So having said that, we will use a slow setting glue as usual, like we do for all the other systems. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put a lot of glue on this and put glue on the base as well. Okay. So, what we do now is we line this up. Okay. And what you like what's what's really good to do here is do a full turn, always going clockwise. Okay? Or else it will unscrew. Then we will take our push down rod and our hammer and this basically ensures that the gray piece is well pushed in and well seated up against the white nylon piece okay so next up we'll take our expander okay this is tapered okay so you have a larger edge and a smaller edge the smaller edge obviously will go in first okay so we'll pop that in then we'll take our little screwdriver and knock this in Okay, so just a couple taps and it's in. We will wait a couple of seconds, wait for the glue to adhere properly and everything should be set. Okay, now that we've waited a couple of seconds, we will now turn counterclockwise and everything is set, okay? So if you wanted to come over here and kind of see what, uh, what that looks like. Okay, so as we see now, we have our bullet well seated into the base of the ball. Uh, with the top sleeve here at the top. Okay, so every time you drill a new ball, this is going to be that process. Okay, now we will go into the next process of drilling a slugget using the Ferrari jig. Okay, so with your starter kit, you will be uh, supplied with what's called the Ferrari jig. This is a great tool for doing ovals. Let's say you don't have a, a machine like this that has digitals and you want it to be able to do ovals. Basically, what you could do is you could set up based on the angle that you want and then just move your table in the horizontal fashion to do your ovals. Obviously we have the capabilities of doing that. We also did a video on how to cut ovals using Spectre. So please watch that video in that case. So in this case right now, we'll just be lining up the machine with our zero degrees here. Then we will also go grab in our starter kit. We had this uh, vice it, um, I guess, seating tool for all the different sizes of slugs that we could use. So here we're using a one and three eight. So I'm gonna grab this piece. And here basically what you do is you install it in the desired degree. Okay, so like I said here, we're gonna just go with the pin here in the zero degrees because we are just doing a round hole in this instance. Even if we were just drilling a oval, I would be still using this zero and going off of um, the degrees needed using the vertical and horizontal axes on the bowling ball itself, okay? So, let's lock this into place. All right, so now that we have this, okay, we will now install the slug. So you see it's got the little ventilation shaft and it, it supports it that way. So all we do is we drop this in as so, okay? And this is going to be how we will drill our ball, okay? Now, very important when drilling on the Ferrari jig, okay, is that all pitches must be at zero, okay? So when you're drilling on here, make sure that everything is zeroed out because the hole on the Ferrari jig is zero, zero. And so we wanna drill this so it's completely cylindrical inside the slug. And basically since we put the pitch in the ball itself, that will follow, okay? So that's why it's important to put your pitch in the ball when installing the ball in, okay? So right now here we're at zero, zero, we're good to go. I will now take my 15 16 drill bit and so there's several things that you can do here to make sure that you're 100% center. One is you could use the little dimple here that's in the middle, okay? Or the other thing that you could also do is basically pop this out, okay? Pop this back in and take a one and three eighths drill bit and make sure that you're 100% centered with that hole, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing here. I find this to be a little bit simpler, okay? So I'm just gonna take this, move everything around until we're good. Okay, let's move this a little bit over here. Move this back a bit. Okay, so we're pretty centered now. That looks good. 
Now I can take my slug it, pop that in, make sure it's in, and take that, and we see that we are perfectly centered with the slug, okay? All right, and now we drill, okay? So one of the beauties of this system, okay? So again, in all these interchangeable videos, we've just been drilling a round hole at 15 16 So one of the things that's really interesting with this system is that you can't drill through the bottom. There's a little washer at the bottom that stops the drill bit. So we're gonna go until the drill bit stops. See, I can't go any further. Stopping, okay? So now that this is done, my thumb hole's pretty much done. So I get to take all of this out and now I'm going to install it on the ball. Okay. So take this out, our thumb is done. Okay, and as we see, we had a metallic piece there at the bottom, and all I could do is just push this out. And there you have it. Okay, so as you see, I hit it with the drill bit, and we see that the hole is perfectly centered right there. Okay, so now we're done with the Ferrari jig. This can go home now. And now I can take this ball back, take my slug, pop her in, and secure it, okay? However, before we do that, we want to make sure to put the safety molly in, okay? So it will come with a safety piece like this, a nylon safety piece, okay? So you've got a, a male and a female, so pop the female in, okay? Hold it with one finger, and then come here on the bottom side and just thread it in, okay? You can glue these pieces together, and basically all this acts is as like a sandwich mechanism, just in case that uh, the glue here fails at the top, okay? So what I like to do here is just finger tight it, and then at the bottom here, you could just take an Allen screw, an Allen key, and tighten that. So we'll make sure to do that. We'll make sure to tighten it with the Allen key before we hand this over to our customer. But again, this is a step that you could skip. However, I strongly recommend it just in case the glue does fail. So this is ready to go. So we can now throw this into our ball. I'll just grab an insert insertion tool, turn full, and then it just snapped in. So we're good to cut now, okay? So now I'm going to make sure that my machine is already at zero, which is the case because my Ferrari jig had to be at zero. And as you see here, it is lower here than it is in the back, hence following the quarter inch pitch that we have, okay? So now that we're here, Right now, we'll take our blood cutter. And we cut this whole thing down. So again, making sure that we're at zero pitch when doing this. And we are done. So now we can easily take this, unscrew it, and we have our vice it ball it, top sleeve, all installed and ready to go, ready to give to our customer. So again, as you saw, this was the entire process of doing a vice it inside of a bowling ball. We did the ball it with the, uh, with the expander and the top sleeve. And then we also did the slug it with the safety molly at the bottom. So make sure that you make, sh make sure that you keep all those tools nice and tidy. Make sure you don't lose any of the tools. This, this kit is very, uh, part intensive and tool intensive. So just make sure that you uh, get get used to the flow, okay? Uh, also the Ferrari jig, make sure that you keep it nice and clean and keep it in a spot where uh, nothing bad happens to it because if you happen to damage the Ferrari jig, it will be difficult to drill uh, any slug it's moving forward, okay? So again, thank you for watching these tutorials on how to install all the interchangeables. Um, again, we have tutorials for switch grip, ultimate thumb, uh, Joe Poe and also the Vice IT. So uh, thanks for watching these tutorials and we hope to see you guys in the next video.